Hey guys, it's LBS Honey and today I'm doing kind of my first ever story time video. So I've never really been interested in story time videos. They just kind of bore me a bit because no one acts out what they're talking about except for LBS story time videos. I actually enjoy them a lot. So about like a month ago, I got in contact with JJ LPS and I commissioned her to draw me some LPS for my banner art on my channel and I also commissioned her for kind of like a traditional drawing that she mailed out to me. Which by the way, can we just all go and support JJ LPS? She is so talented and sweet so I'll leave a link to her YouTube and Instagram down below. So anyway, back to the story, I got in contact with her over Instagram and I sent her a few pictures of the pets I wanted for the drawings and I also explained some details that I wanted included. So of course, once she finished the digital drawings, she sent them over to me through my email and from there I made them into my channel banner. But the traditional one she mailed out to me and I was so excited to receive it but because she lives pretty much on the other side of the world and shipping within Australia is super incredibly slow, it took quite a few weeks to get here. But when the letter finally did arrive, it kind of didn't go as planned. I'll just show you guys what happened. Now performing Maddie. <coughs> Can't you see it? Whoa! Fun fact, I don't know how to play the piano. B! Letter! Huh? Yes, I got another letterbox. It's got your name on it. Were you expecting anything? As you guys know, I literally have the memory of a goldfish, so I honestly could not remember if I was getting anything in the mail or not. Um, not that I can think of, no. I'm sure it's just something that I like ordered or someone sent me something that I knew about. I just can't remember. Oh my goodness, what if it's a crazy fan? You know how some people can be? They're, they're trying to poison you. You know, they, they could have gotten your address from somewhere and, and now they've sent you a letter full of poison. I wish I was exaggerating, but that's literally what she said to me. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think anyone's trying to poison me, Mum. The only people who have my address are either people I trust or that I've bought stuff from. I highly doubt they've tracked me down and are trying to poison me. Plus I had to get through customs to get to my house. So, you know, borderline security would have caught that there was something in there. Oh, you never know these days. They're coming up with all these new fancy synthetic poisons. It just could have slipped past. And the envelope is quite dirty. You never know. I, I don't think we should open it. I think we should just throw it out and never speak of it again. It could be important and they clearly know me because they've ripped my name on it. Just give me the envelope and I'll open it up. But you're going to get poisoned! I don't want any harm to come of you. I, I, I don't want you to open this envelope. Mom, it's my mail. Come on, just give me the envelope and I'll open it and you can leave the room if you're that worried that poison's gonna come flying out of it. Fine, I will, but on one condition. You open it up outside in the garden because then if there is any poison in here, it'll float away with the breeze and it won't get you in the face and then you'll be okay. Oh my gosh, fine, I'll open it in the backyard. Okay, good, let's go. My mother is literally paranoid of a envelope. What the heck? Okay, mom, I'm opening the envelope now. Outside, are you happy? Yep, I'm 100% safe behind this glass. And you know, I have a mouth cover just in case. Just pretend there's glass here, okay guys? And yes, she literally put a t-shirt over her face in case poison flew into her mouth. I think my mom might be insane. Okay, mom, here goes. I can't look. <sighs> Oh, Mum, it's the drawing I commissioned that girl for that I told you about, JJ? Yeah, it's a drawing of my mascot. It's super pretty. What? Really? Oh, and here you were thinking it was poison. Oh, you're so silly. What? I, you made me open it up outside. It, what? What? Look at those drawing skills. It's an absolute masterpiece. So after all that, here's the actual envelope. Like I said, it's a little dirty, but that's to be expected traveling such a long way. JJ also wrote me a super sweet note, and I'm so glad you had fun doing my commission. It was so adorable, so I'm glad that you enjoyed creating it, I guess. <laughs> 
And here is my beautiful mascot as drawn and painted by JJ LPS. She is just so adorable and everything I wanted her to be. And she even has a little YouTube logo on her collar, which I did ask for and it just looks amazing. So thank you so much for doing this for me. And of course, signature on point. What the heck? That is gorgeous. Like, <laughs> even your signature is good looking. What the heck? But just look at the detail, like the shading and the blush and the adorable little face oh my goodness the camera honestly doesn't do it justice and it is so gorgeous in person and look at her little toe beans oh my goodness and her eyebrows ah so cute and the next step is to get this framed and hang it in my little studio so again thank you so much JJ LPS and a link to her Instagram and YouTube will be in the description down below go check it out she is so talented and sweet and just amazing so guys, that is my story time about the amazing drawing I got from JJ LPS and kind of a odd little story behind it. Um, so yeah, I know this isn't like the most exciting video, but I thought it was kind of a funny story how everything happened. And of course, I wanted to show the amazing drawing JJ LPS sent me that I commissioned her for because it is just so gorgeous. I'm definitely not going to make story times a regular thing because girl, let's be honest, my life is not that interesting. But either way, I hope you enjoyed and of course, I am currently working on episode 2 of LPS Echo. I'm kind of on the uh, the set of it right now. Let's be real, it's not a set, it's literally an area inside my room. Like, <laughs> But yes, the next episode is coming and of course I'm still working on Love Hurts. It is the end of season 1 so I definitely want to make the last epi episode bleh, a spectacular episode so it's going to take a little longer and let's be honest my episodes always take long to come out because I do a lot of editing on them with like special effects and stuff like that so thank you all for being patient with me and thank you all for the amazing support like always I cannot believe how close we are to hitting 100,000 subscribers like ugh. Oh my gosh. But yeah, anyway, like I said, the next episode of LPS Echo will be out super, super soon, hopefully within the next few days. So I hope you guys look forward to that. And yeah, just thank you again. I'm kind of repeating myself now. Whoops. But like always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. And turn on the bell notifications because that way you'll get notified when I upload a new video. Woo! And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.